I struggle sometimes with this whole concept that women need to lead differently or, um, I mean, obviously there is a, there is a shortage of women in upper level positions across all professions, across all industries. We need to get women into leadership positions. There's no question. I, I just, sometimes I struggle because I don't know that we need to do anything. I think we just need to be ourselves and clearly the systems are broken. And so we've got to figure out how do we fix the system? I don't know that that requires women to be any different than who they actually are. And so for me, it's a systemic, there, there are some systems problems that need to be addressed and implicit bias and things that I'm not, I mean, there are experts that know much more about that than I do. I just, I, I'm hopeful that when we teach people, both men and women, because I think men are also, um, fall into the trap of perfectionism and what do people think and they're not living out of their true authentic selves and when we when we actually get in touch with who we are and what what our true destiny is in in the profession or whatever it is we do i, I just maybe i'm just naive i just want it to i want to i want to be hopeful that when we do that there's a space for all of us all of us to lead, all of us to be effective. It's not threatening. I'm not threatened by you because you're a man. You're not threatened by me because I'm a woman. We get to bring our full selves to the table and that's so, that's so much better for everybody.